Hey, what's up? I'm Chantel Chen, joined alongside Brian Foseca. UFC 272, and it is going to be an absolute epic fight night. There's a big one coming up, Brian. Kobe Covington, and of course, Jorge Masvidal. Who do you have winning this one, and how? Give me the odds. Who do you got? So on FanDuel right now, Kobe Covington, as of this recording, is a minus 340 favorite. Jorge Masvidal is a plus 260 underdog. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I know the rational thing to do so far would be to pick Kobe Covington on points, which is minus 110 right now. But I have this weird feeling that Jorge Masvidal has one big knockout left in him, even though I did not like how he looked in either Kamaru Usman fight, which is the last two times we saw him, and he hasn't won in over two years, which was against Nate Diaz in Madison Square Garden. I was actually there for that. I have stories not suitable for this program for that. <laughs> but anyway, um, look, I thought that he looked good before that. He was probably the fighter of the year in 2019, and I just feel like Colby Covington is going to get something out of him. And both of these guys are going to fight hella emotional, which I think may benefit yeah. Jorge Masvidal in some ways. So I'm kind of leaning there, and I feel like that would be the most entertaining uh, outcome. And he's plus 400 to win by knockout. And if Jorge Masvidal is going to win, it's going to have to be by knockout. I agree with you. I mean, you talked about Jorge Masvidal. The thing that he's good at, he's an elite striker. So he's definitely going to come with the good counter puncher that he is. He's got speed. So he's elite on that level. But you look at Kobe Covington and you know that he's going to want to use his wrestling skills. That's what Kobe Covington does. Also, I think we're sleeping on the fact that Covington has a ridiculous chin. I mean, he yeah. just fought Usman and he took a clean right. That was after he got knocked out and he was still able to last with him. So I think that's interesting. I think we got to stop sleeping on that because Jorge Masvidal, of the, although he has the power, Kobe Covington has shown that he can definitely take a punch. So I'm going to roll with Covington right now. He's a minus 340, but I think he's going to get it done by submission. And by submission, that's a oh. plus 1,000. I don't think there's going to be a knockout on this one. There's so much beef and blab blood in this one. But I think this one will go to the fifth round, and Kobe Covington is going to win by submission. I thought about that because Kobe Covington, he's plus 1,000 to win by submission right now, by the way. He hasn't yeah. won by submission in almost six years, which is surprising because of his wrestling background. But I actually like that as a pick. I don't think Jorge Masvidal, if he wins, he's going to win rounds necessarily, unless he just catches uh, Kobe Covington. Kobe Covington will win based on cardio and output, and he has a ridiculous, ridiculous stamina that, we, that we've that we seen and know about. So I think that if Jorge Masvidal wins, he's going to have to catch him, but... He's capable of doing that more so than a lot of other guys in this sport. I still feel like that's the case. We got to talk about one more of these fights. I think this one is probably going to be the most entertaining one. I'm talking about Bryce Mitchell and Edson Barboza. Who do you got for this one, Brian? I think it's a toss up. Could go 50-50. <laughs> I mean, and the odds reflect that, right? Because Edson Barbosa right now is just a plus 128 underdog and Bryce Mitchell is a minus 158 favorite. Like, we're not talking about a big discrepancy there. I think that this is clearly set up to be just the veteran versus the younger guy. Uh, Bryce Mitchell is about 27, 28 years old. Edson Barbosa has been around, uh, got starched the last time we saw him in a TKO. I think that Bryce Mitchell, though, like, I'm excited about him. I think that he has a lot of potential. Uh, his grappling has been very, very good in the UFC so far. Uh, he has nine wins by submission, twisters, rear naked chokes, triangle chokes, arm bars. He has a whole arsenal. I think he's going to try to get Edson Barbosa, you know, down to the ground and try to finish him there. We'll see how that goes. And it should be noted that while he does have all those submissions, only one of them in the UFC has been winning by decision a lot. But I still think this is going to be a great fight. I'm rolling with, I'm rolling uh, with you. Yeah. I'm rolling with you on that one. I got Bryce Mitchell winning by submission. And of course, you mentioned Bryce Mitchell a minus 158. That's what we've got for UFC 272. Make sure you make your bets on the FanDuel Sportsbook. I'm Chantel Chans. And I'm Brian Fonseca. Hope you get rich this Saturday betting on the fights. Good luck.